Welcome to our Senior Business Leaders Interview Series from Breaking Defense. I'm your host, Barry Rosenberg, and today we're talking about one of the hottest topics in defense, connected battle space, or as we've all been reading about, joint all-domain command and control. My guest is Scott Stapp, Vice President and Chief Technology Officer for Northrop Grumman. He's a retired Air Force Brigadier General, and his last assignment was in black programs where he ran the security protocols necessary to access those secret programs. Thanks for joining us, General. Thank you for having me. The first question is about the challenges facing the Biden administration and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin in the great power competition against China and Russia. What are the key strategic investments the U.S. should make to maintain advantage over our peer competitors? Well, as you know, the threat environment is constantly changing, regardless of whether an adversary is a nation state operating in a highly contested environment or non-state actors in permissive environments. At Northrop Grumman, we're focused on delivering capabilities that maintain strategic advantage across all domains and against all adversaries. The United States is investing in deterrence by ensuring our nuclear triad remains unmatched and that our ISR capabilities can monitor the globe. Increasingly, the U.S. is also investing in multi-domain and interoperable systems to support joint and coalition operations. However, civilian and military leadership are concerned that adversaries are reducing the technological advantage the United States and our allies have sustained over the past 20 years, in part because digital transformation is making advanced capabilities more available and affordable for us and our adversaries. To maintain our advantages, we must ensure forces can observe, orient, decide, and act together faster and with greater effect. That means investing in Joint All-Domain Command and Control, or JADC2. With ABMS in the U.S. Air Force, Project Convergence in the Army, and Project Overmatch in the Navy, momentum is building to create joint effects through the emerging JADC2 concept. Our team is investing in the advanced networks that provide the secure connective tissue between systems and sensors across domains. And we're developing many of the systems and sensors themselves to take the data from next-gen networks and deliver true advantage to our men and women in uniform. As you mentioned, JADC2 is the architecture through which the military services will share data in an all-domain connected battle space. What are the enabling technologies necessary to achieve the goals of JADC2? Well, the commercial world has already burned down a lot of risk in this area. Uh, just look at the internet of things, how that has impacted the commercial sector how artificial intelligence and machine learning improvements now allow us to process data much faster than ever before, and how 5G is now providing better interconnectivity and networking of information. Those technologies in and of themselves are great advantages in a military environment. Other enabling technologies are advanced computing so we can process information significantly faster, and cyber control to keep our systems secure and prevent intrusion. Northrop Grumman is committed to accessing commercial technology where it can advance JADC2 capabilities faster and cost effectively. Where needed, we will of course develop the military specific technologies required to meet the unique and challenging requirements of operational JADC2. Good stuff, General. What specific programs and capabilities is Northrop Grumman presently engaged in that gives it experience in addressing the requirements for all domain operations? So Northrop Grumman has built pioneering global security systems for generations. Today, we're leading technological and open architecture advancements that enable joint command and control across all domains. We're bringing our expertise in hardware and software, systems integration, sensors, autonomy, manned, unmanned teaming, and advanced networking to support JADC2 requirements. Our advanced gateway networking products are connecting communication systems across services and domains and our space assets are providing secure communications around the globe. We're already delivering much of the infrastructure for the joint force. As we improve how systems are networked, we're developing command and control systems, platforms and sensors that can improve the capability of the joint force regardless of the threat environment. At Northrop Grumman, we are continuing to invest across the full spectrum of technologies required for JADC2. We are determined to deliver the systems needed to outpace the increasingly sophisticated threats of potential adversaries. And that makes harnessing digital transformation an imperative. We're changing the paradigm of the system lifecycle to deliver rapid and incremental advancements in communications and networking. 
All this to ensure the U.S. and allied forces maintain a strategic advantage in the age of data-driven warfare. So I've had the pleasure today of talking with Scott Stapp from Northrop Grumman. Thank you for joining us, General, and thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next edition of our Senior Business Leaders interview series. Thank you.